Welcome back to another episode of Art Books Reviewed, and today we're taking a peek at this. Ah, it's big. It's heavy. It's The Making of Aliens. Um, it's published by Titan Books. Okay, and it's a fantastic book, very substantial. Um, it's got some wonderful uh, information in here, a lot of really good photos. Uh, and basically a lot of information about the making of the Aliens film, which of course is the sequel to um, the original Alien film uh, by Ridley Scott. So Aliens was directed, I think, in 1986 by uh, James Cameron. <laughs> and they said David Cameron. He didn't do it. It was James Cameron. Um, and yeah, let's have a look inside. So here we go. It's got this dust jacket, by the way. It's got a nice design on the front and it's got that really cool aliens kind of writing and logo on the spine and just before we go any further just to sort of um, encapsulate what's covered in this book highlights include Cameron's determination to make the film more of a war movie with more emphasis on action so that's a departure from the first film which was more slow paced sort of a horror film really rather than this which was yeah like it says more action packed so Cameron Heard and Heard in this case is it's referred to Gail Ann Heard who was the producer um, strugg their struggles to be taken seriously in the industry and the clashes that occurred between the director and the crew on set the challenges faced by Stan Winston and his team in creating the huge alien queen puppet. Yeah, I can imagine that was difficult. Uh, casting the actors to play the space marines and the gruelling boot camp training they had to endure. Well, that doesn't surprise me. Uh, finding schoolgirl Carrie Henn to play the major role of Newt. Yeah, that must have been also challenging to get someone right for that role. And I think they succeeded. Uh, the extensive and meticulous model work that went into the creation of the iconic ships and vehicles. Yeah, absolutely. And they go into quite a bit of detail here. We'll see some of that as we go through, hopefully. Um, and persuading, this is really interesting, the anti-gun Sigourney Weaver to return in a film heavy on weaponry. I didn't know that. So apparently she wasn't keen on the all the weaponry. However, that is a major part of this film. So let's do it. The making of... Oh, look at that. It's not quite formed. It's going to say alien. Is that drop ship. Really like that. Love the atmosphere. So atmospheric. Love that bit in the film actually as well. It's really there's a storm, isn't there? It's really raining, and they're trying to get inside inside this uh, colony building. Yeah, there is some great photography throughout this book. There's Ripley asleep. Here's the contents. Various things. I won't read them all out. You can see them there on the screen. Um, here's James Cameron and uh, Sigourney Weaver herself, the star of the show. And that's a really good silhouette, isn't it? So yeah, there's a lot of text. So for Aliens fans, fans of this movie and the franchise, there's, there's a lot of information in here. There's lots of very interesting um, sort of background information. Here's some other movie posters from other countries. So this is um, the J Japanese movie poster. Uh, the Spanish one and the German one. Which one do you prefer? I'm not so keen actually on the Spanish one. Quite like the uh, Japanese one to be honest. Anyway, moving on. So I shan't, I shan't linger on the um, the text heavy pages for this particular video because I think it's prudent that we can um, look at as much of the visual stuff as possible. Okay. It says throughout here, a concept illustration of the Alien Queen with egg sack by Cameron. So, I mean, James Cameron is an artist as well. If, if, that's the, uh, if that's the case, then I'm impressed. Or is it talking about somebody else? I've got a feeling it might be him. Again, these two are Cameron uh, illustrations. So, as you can see, there's lots of concept work. There's bits of the script, early scripts here. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? With, the, with Ripley kind of like trying to turn away from the alien. That's exactly kind of how it how it turns out, isn't it? I hope this isn't too much of a spoiler for anybody, but I mean, the film's been around since 86, so one would hope that uh, most people are really like that. Would have seen this film already. If you haven't, stop this video now and go and watch it. And then obviously come back and watch the rest of this video because it is 
one of my favourite films. I think Alien, Aliens and The Thing, they're up there. They're my fa three favourites of all time. See, he here we're getting to see some of the models that they're building. Brilliant. It's aged well, the film. This is amazing as well. Chest bursting scene that's very shocking in the first film. Yeah, the film, the special effects have aged well, I think. You can watch it, you know, in 2021. Um, I like this APC. You can watch it in 2021 and still really enjoy it. It's not cringy, it's not dated, it really still works. It's horrifying, gory, action packed, edge of edge of the seat kind of stuff. Right to the end. Anyway. This is a huge book. I'm only a bit of the way through. And um, wow, look at that. That was taking ages to make. Ages. Alien lair. And here are some of these humans that are being sort of zombified in there. Or kept alive, barely, as human hosts. Some really good black and white photography throughout this book. Yeah, there's uh, Hudson. Oh no, look at she, she looks so ill. Great makeup on that as well. So look at all these great photos from on set. Ooh, that's a great, I'd like that model. I'd like to own that. I'm sure, it, I wonder if it still exists. Now this is one of my favorite photos of the entire book. Love that scene. It's kind of where they realise that they're actually, they're screwed. Uh, and they've got to try and keep their heads and work out how they're going to fight back and survive against this seemingly impenetrable um, alien species. So, wow, look at that. Looks like a real thing, doesn't it? Gosh, the rain is a real feature in this film, isn't it? See that various points. Look, here's James Cameron telling, showing how he would like the alien to be blasted from between that door. Do it like this, he says. Look at this. So I'm going to keep skipping through. Just, you know, hope you're enjoying this visual feast. Bishop gets impaled from behind and he's kind of spitting out all this milky blood or android juice, whatever it is, lubricant. Oh, and then he sort of drags himself around, doesn't he, with half his torso. Yeah, yeah that was funny. Doesn't look that happy in the film, Norway, does she? Who would? It's a harrowing experience. build us this great uh, climax, isn't it, where you basically, it's like woman versus woman as Ripley takes on this queen alien. Oh, this is incredibly distressing, this scene. Um, <clears throat> yeah. gets whittled down pretty quickly, doesn't it, as the film goes on. So 
Hard to believe Bouncy Money even. She seems so comfortable with the guns. I did not know that until I started looking at this book. Anyway, we're towards the end here, there's the bibliography, acknowledgements. That's a good shot. And that's nice, isn't it? A happy moment in an otherwise horrific film. Which is a horrific film, it's also an enjoyable film. An image on the back there. Really good book. One for all the Aliens fans out there for sure. So I really hope that you enjoy looking through there. It's a it's a great book if you love all these kinds of uh, arts of and makings of books and you're a fan of that Aliens film and let's face it who's watched this film and not enjoyed it. Um, so yeah if, if that's the case then this is a great great book to pick up. So yeah Hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time.